Having to put up a lost poster like this is a pet owner's worst nightmare, but scammers are using this information to prey on your pain in order to get a big payday for themselves. I've contacted all the shelters and the animal hospitals surrounding me, and then I also printed out over, I think it's 150 flyers. Chelsea Merlent has exhausted all options while searching for her cat Max, who went missing a month ago. He's like my son. She's received several text messages from people saying they've found Max, only to realize the person on the other end is hoping to fool her. I've gotten a couple scammers call me and ask me for like a six or five digit verification code that they'd sent to my phone to prove that I'm not fake. Here's how it works. The scammer will contact you claiming to have found your pet, then send you a six digit verification code either by text or phone call hoping you will send it back. The Federal Trade Commission says do not send anyone that code. They'll use the code to register your phone number on Google Voice in order to rip off other people while concealing their identity. But they would not provide anything that like a picture or a location or anything like that. Another local woman sent me this text thread showing a scammer demanding payment in order to get her dog back. Thankfully, both women realized it was a scam before sending any information or money. It's a con that pet rescue organizations like Hearts Alive Village are all too familiar with. We've had people spend $200 just to get an address of where to meet these people. We wanted to find out what you can do to protect yourself. I would ask them to send a video. You know, send some pictures. I mean, maybe even have them hold up the newspaper with the picture they're sending because they're they're getting good. They're you're, they're taking pictures that are very similar to your animal, and you're so excited that you're just ready to get your animal back. And then the next thing you know, they're they're asking you for money. If a response to your missing pet post elicits a response from someone who can't provide photos or videos, makes threats regarding your pet, or asks for money or other sensitive information like a Google verification code, the FBI says to proceed with caution and as hard as it may be, ignore it. Are you searching for Kitty? Despite the setbacks, Chelsea isn't losing hope. I just want my cat home. You can also report these scams through PetScams.com, the Better Business Bureau, the FBI, or the Federal Trade Commission. Reporting in Las Vegas, I'm Kelsey McFarland.